Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So we hear a lot from Wall Street that Tesla needs to focus on their $25,000 car and nothing else because that is something that will fit into their spreadsheet. <laughs> but they also say that the $25,000 car will make a significant hit to Tesla's cross margin. And that Tesla's full self-driving car is not going to bring in any value in the near future and that is why they don't give it much value. But I would like to show you in this video that Tesla will most likely start earning meaningful money on their full self-driving software than the $25,000 car. But when that $25,000 car comes out, it will likely earn more in cross margin than BMW does on their luxury ICE vehicles. And that is almost something we know with all the information we have right now. Not something we have to guess at. I know people don't believe this because it has never been done before. But where have I heard that before? Well, let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So let's start about talking about the $25,000 car. Because as we know, Tesla themselves said that the old platform from the Tesla Model S and X cost Tesla about $86,000 to produce that EV. But their current EV platform they use for the Model 3 and Model Y cost them about $36,000. And even Sandy Monroe teared apart a 2018 Model 3 and showed that the cost of that car was about $33,000. So that lined up pretty well with Tesla's own statement. So we basically know what Tesla's cost is right now. And as Tesla has shown us, they are going to be able to cut the cost in half with the unboxed production method. So Tesla's cost somewhere between $33,000 to $36,000 to make a Model 3. So let's say $35,000. So half of that is $17,500. And that cost reduction is because of the manufacturing method. Not like the old boys that are also making cheaper ice cars, but the way they do that is by cheapening the product. It doesn't get nice things like the automatic trunk or ventilated seat or screen in the back or nice materials inside or climate zones and so on and so on. There is a lot the old guys can do to make their products more affordable. And their smaller compact car, of course, also just have less material overall as it is a smaller car, so that also makes it more affordable. But Tesla's cost of producing their next generation vehicle for about $18,000 is nothing with all of that. The $18,000 is the cost reduction in their production method. All the other stuff like cheaper materials and less high-tech stuff in the car and so on, that comes on top of this. And remember, Tesla works every single day to try to cut cost in their products. Like they showed us at Advesta Day from 2018 to 2022, Tesla reduced the cost of producing the Model 3 by 30%. But that is all done without cheapening the product. The Model 3 actually got better over time, but got 30% cheaper for Tesla to produce. So that is very impressive. And Tesla will of course continue this process even after the unboxed production method is implemented. But the $18,000 is pretty much a known fact that Tesla will be able to produce a car for that amount with their new manufacturing techniques. That is their goal. So a $25,000 car with a cross profit margin of at least 20% is very easy for Tesla when they get this to large scale of that $25,000 next generation vehicle as 20% margin on a $25,000 car will mean that the cost is about $20,000. So Tesla even has quite the wiggle room to get a $25,000 car with a 20% margin. That is just unheard of in the industry. 
Unlike the ICE cars of today, the smaller, cheap cars have very little margin because they're so cheap to buy and there's a lot of competition. And because of that, so many analysts think that this will also be the case for Tesla. So when Tesla starts making the $25,000 car, their margin will get hit significantly. Because they probably don't expect that car to have more than 10% margin. But in reality, it will probably have twice that. The analysts are simply not thinking about the unboxed production method. Because what is usually the case when you want to make a smaller, cheaper car is that it, of course, will be automatically cheaper to produce because it has less materials that is needed for a small car. But then they also cheapen the car, like I mentioned before. No high-tech stuff in the car and the interior usually made from very cheap plastic and it doesn't have an automatic trunk and so on. So the story about the Volkswagen ID2 that will also cost $25,000 and will come out in 2025 or 2026. Well, that is not a car that is going to have a huge margin, even though it looks like Volkswagen and Tesla will both have a $25,000 car. So for the customer, it seems like they are at the same exact spot. But the situations behind the scenes is very different, just like we know it from today, where Volkswagen don't make any money selling their EV, but Tesla makes about $5,000 per EV they sell, and that is even after all the price cuts. But Volkswagen has not made huge innovation in their production for the ID2, and it will be made on the same MEB platform as the ID3. So they can try to cheapen it down, but they have already cheapened down the ID3, so they don't lose too much money on selling it. That's actually the complaint for most OEMs and their EVs, that they are cheapening them down because they lose a lot of money on them. But Volkswagen is not really profitable on their ID3 as it is, and it has a price of thirty-five to $45,000. So it will not be easy to cheapen it down to make an ID2 profitable for $25,000 on their current EV platform. As Volkswagen themselves have also told us, the only way they have talked about how they will get down to a $25,000 car is economy of scale on the car and on their batteries. So they are not making a whole new way of producing a car it will still be made on their already unprofitable MEB platform. So how they think the economy of scale alone is going to cut the cost for Volkswagen by 10 to 15 to $20,000 is beyond my understanding. And there is also only so much they can do to cheapen it down as the ID3 already doesn't have an automatic trunk and very cheap materials inside of it. They don't have a tow hitch and so on and so on. So there is very little they can cut off to cut the cost down. The only thing is really just its form factor that they use less material to make a smaller car and then the economy of scale of the car itself and of their batteries. So yes, Volkswagen's $25,000 car will not have great margins, but Tesla's will. I know it has never been done before, but as so many times before, Tesla does something that has never been done before. And that is why nobody thinks it's possible and why only us with a little bit of an imagination and have studied Tesla for years earned a lot of money from our Tesla stock in 2020, where Tesla showed they could do what had never been done before. So I would not bet against Tesla on this one either. And Tesla will of course also have the economy of scale helping them out as well as Wright's law. Arc Invest has shown that through the last hundred years, Wright's law has worked for the automotive industry and have cut costs by about 15% for every cumulative doubling in production. And Tesla is about to hit another cumulative doubling soon. In March 2023, they hit 4 million vehicles produced. In September 2023, they hit their fifth million car. And in March of this year, Tesla produced their sixth million car. So in about a year from now, Tesla will probably hit 8 million cars produced, making it a doubling since March 2023, getting its cost down another 15% in theory. So for some people to say that Tesla's next gen $25,000 car will not have a great margin, I personally think is completely wrong. I think Tesla's next generation vehicle could have just as great margins as someone like BMW earns on their luxury ICE vehicles, which is about 18%. 
And on top of being very affordable with a $25,000 price tag, Tesla has also said at their investor day that Tesla expects the next-gen vehicle to have a substantially lower cost per miles than any high-volume vehicle of today. This will become a huge hit around the world and still be a product that will bring in nice margins for Tesla. But then there is the whole talk about Tesla's full self-driving robotaxis and how Wall Street will not take that into the valuation of Tesla the company because they don't see it bringing any meaningful profits for Tesla for a long time. But they're all so excited about the $25,000 car, that is all they want to see. Tesla just show us that $25,000 car so we can put it into our spreadsheet. But I'm willing to bet that we will see quite a significant income from Tesla's full self-driving software before we see a significant income from Tesla's $25,000 car. Let me try to explain why, because when will the $25,000 car come out? Well, they don't even have a factory yet for it. So even if they reveal it at their 1010 event, which I don't think they will, it will take years to get it off the ground. But I think that is what the expansion at Berlin is for, and at Shanghai as well, and the upcoming Gigafactory in Mexico, of course. But the expansion or the new factory are not even under construction yet. So we will definitely not have it up and running before 2026 at the earliest. So 2027 would be my best guess on when this car will come out in high volume. But Wall Street thinks that this is the thing that is going to bring in some value for Tesla the fastest, not their full self-driving car. But full self-driving is not just a robotaxi. It is also the full self-driving software itself that can be used in a privately owned Tesla. And Elon has talked about it and Tesla has shown us a few peaks about it. And Elon says it will work something like the Airbnb model. And for that, we are talking about an over-the-air update and boom. Tesla starts earning money on full self-driving. That could be as early as next year. So they don't need to get the robo-taxi to scale before it starts bringing in value for Tesla. As soon as Wall Street can see the price that Tesla earns per ride in the privately owned vehicles and see now Tesla has actually solved it, they can start putting some actual value on Tesla's full self-driving software and that will dwarf Tesla's $25,000 car for sure. So I don't know why Wall Street are so obsessed with this car. It will look like a rounding error when full self-driving is a thing. And I am willing to bet that full self-driving will start earning money for Tesla way before the $25,000 car will. Because yes, robotaxis will become a gold mine, but that is still something that needs to scale up. As I said before, I think the production line Tesla has been working on for more than a year inside the Texas factory is ready to soon start production of their next generation unbox production method. But I do believe that is for the robotaxi and not the $25,000 car, as they don't need a high volume of the robotaxi to begin with, but they need that for the $25,000 car. So the rollout of the robotaxis will be slow at the beginning, but overnight, Tesla can basically turn on their fleet into full self-driving cars. And then it will only be a question of when will we have approval for full self-driving from regulators in different cities in the US. And Tesla should already have about 400,000 beta testers out there. So a lot of potential customers to start using their cars as robotaxi rentals. Not everyone will of course do this, but the potential is huge. Also, as soon as it gets approved in some cities, this will also mean that the demand for Tesla's cars will go up significantly, as you will now be able to get a car that can actually drive you around basically everywhere in the US, not like the party trick of way more Mercedes Level 3. Driver assist feature that basically only works in a traffic jam in very good weather and if there's not a tunnel up ahead. So when it is possible, I think people will not only buy one Tesla, but maybe buy two Tesla, as they can use one for themselves and just one as robotaxi. As Elon have said, you should be able to earn as much money on a robotaxi as the car cost in monthly payment. So after a year, it should basically be paid off and just starting earning some extra income for you and your family. So that could generate a lot of money for Tesla. And depending on what we will see and hear on the upcoming We Robot event, this could happen as early as next year, in my opinion. But the $25,000 car will not even be a thing next year. 
that will be the two other more affordable models that Tesla is working on. But even if we leave the robo-taxi out of the equation, the full self-driving software itself could start and bring a very nice pile of money on its own. Because even though we would have to wait for regulatory approval, but the car will still be able to drive itself. You are still responsible, of course, but when everyone can start to see the Tesla owners summon their car in the parking lot and being dropped off by the car in front of the mall and the car go park itself and pick you up afterwards and then drive you home with no intervention, even though you have to keep an eye on it, these features will be a big hit for Tesla. So you can get any other car that you have to drive and that might have some driver assist features, but Tesla's full self-driving supervised will become exactly that, full self-driving. It's just supervised until they get approval. That should make the demand for Tesla's car skyrocket. And then Tesla will also start earning $8,000 in software profits per car they sell, as everyone is going to want their software. So that alone could bring in a lot of profit for Tesla in the short term, even before we have regulatory approval and the system is still called full cell driving supervised. And I do think Tesla is on the cusp of solving it, and so there is a chance that we will see a significant increase in the profits coming from Tesla's full self-driving software already next year. And then I think we will see some of the partners revealed as well that want to licensing Tesla's full self-driving software, as the other OEMs are going to want this software very badly, as the demand for their cars will probably drop as fast as the demand for Tesla's cars will skyrocket. But that will not bring in any profits for a long time. As Elon also said, if legacy automakers sign a deal today with Tesla, it will probably take at least three years before the legacy automakers could have a new car ready with the hardware that is needed for Tesla's full self-driving to work on their cars. But at least Wall Street will be able to see that in the not-so-distant future, Tesla will also start bringing in money on software from licensing it to other OEMs. So this is all why I personally think we will see more profits coming in in meaningful volume from full self-driving software much sooner than profit from a $25,000 car that everyone is waiting for. But I also think that when Tesla comes out with their next generation vehicle, it will be able to have a very high margin, as I explained, setting them apart from everyone else, even the Chinese. Because they already have a $20,000 EV but is hardly making any money on their EVs, if at all. But what do you think? What will be the first to bring in meaningful value for Tesla? The Tesla Robotaxi or the $25,000 car? And will anyone be able to compete with Tesla on the next generation vehicle? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>